Welcome everybody to Missouri State University. I'm here with Kian Yari. How you doing, mate? Good, man. You good? Yeah, not bad, are you? He's going to show us around today. We've got a big day on our hands. It's like walking out Old Trafford. <laughs> you want to tell us where we are? Yeah, so this is past the stadium, the football stadium. I think it holds around 18,000 or so. Pretty yeah. impressive, to be yeah. honest. No, it's a nice stadium. Sometimes uh, during the first quarter, they invite us out on the field at a timeout and like, announce us, saying yeah. this is the men's soccer team. That must be This was cool. their record last year. Yeah, it's cool. Getting a little, a little round of applause. Where are we now? This is the weights room inside of the football stadium that we just saw. Come with me this way. This is where we hold our, our gym sessions. As you can see, quite spacious. There's two main rooms that we use. Every single station's got its own rack, bench, free weights in the middle. Do you have like a specific strength and conditioning coach or? Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. have our own strength and conditioning coach and we all have an app that we use that he, he'll put the workouts in. And that way the coach can also keep track of our, our load and see yeah, yeah. are we actually going up in weight, you know, are we actually yeah. trying to get stronger or are we just coming here to just, just get it buckle. done? Yeah, <laughs> just doing, yeah doing the buckle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Through here we have, it used to be a snack station. I don't know if we still have snacks here. There is some more gym equipment as well, like treadmills. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, so like more cardio. Yeah, yeah, and then we got milks in the fridge there, snack station. Chocolate milks. Yeah, you can make <laughs> smoothies and stuff. How did you manage to get out here? So firstly, I never really had plans of coming to America. Yeah. Um, I was playing for a Premier League academy back home in England. Right. And I just wanted to play and like pursue a career in football. Agencies came into the Premier League Academy All right. at Burnley, just like sort of explaining the route to America. Yeah. And I, I researched a bit more. I was talking to the coach here, I was talking to a few other coaches at other universities. And in the end, I thought it was such a good opportunity because I could still pursue a professional career yeah. and get a degree on top of it. So it's a smart choice. And you know, with scholarship on top of it, it makes, it makes life easier financially. Yeah. So I thought it would have been a silly decision to turn America down and I've got no regrets coming out here, honestly. I think it's been probably not like the best four or five years of my life. Yeah, that's brilliant. What is this? This is the athletic centre. So this is the other side of it. Um, okay. So this is where a lot of the locker rooms are, the training room is with the trainers. If you want to get treatment, if you've got a, a meeting with a coach, yeah. then you'll, you'll have it here. This, so this is like the home of athletics really on campus. So every student athlete, so this is the, Yeah, pretty base. much basketball have their own separate one right. and volleyball, mm -hmm. but everyone else on campus is pretty much here. Yeah. We have a few plaques of all academic All-Americans. Oh, that's pretty that, sweet. That we've had through the years. And uh, just more room for film and meetings, especially with the football team. Nice little touch, this bear logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a, a familiar name on there. I don't know if you might. Oh right, if you here might we are. see that one. I don't know. Here we are down here. And it's up there on 21, 22 as well. well I mean, I don't really want to flex, you two, know. Two years on the balance. <laughs> and so when you do film, do you go in there as well? No, we do it in our locker room. Oh, yeah, okay. We have two big TVs in our locker room, and I'll, I'll show you the locker room later. It's a nice big space. Yeah. I'm sure you remember it. Nice. So yeah, we've made it. Piece of the resistance. Yes, sir. This is it. This is it. Let's have, Let's a, have look. a look. Oh, Matty! Yeah. <laughs> Why is it? Here? You boys in here. You have to go. No, nah, you can stay. You Chill can out. Stay. How you doing? I'm Jack. Matia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Gustav. How you doing? How are you doing? Gustav. Yeah. Jack. What are you boys doing nice here? Nice to meet you. So we made it in. Met a yeah. couple of the lads briefly. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is your stomping ground for how many years? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, mean, it's it's, it's looking pretty so. nice, isn't it? No, it is a super nice locker room. Yeah. It was a lot different to when to when you were here when yeah. there was like all these blocks, the, the blocks like, here, and these those sections. Yeah. And then they knocked down all these blocks, opened up the space. Nice, nice. So much bigger now. Got the cushions in. And uh, yeah, no, it's honestly out of all D1 soccer locker rooms, I think, you know, we're yeah. lucky enough to have one of the biggest and, you know, best and spacious locker rooms. No, it is nice. Since 2019, we won one conference four years in a row. Wow. It was only this year, my last year, that we lost finally. Yeah. But no, we were on a good little streak of four years. Yeah. And yeah, we have two TVs up here where we usually do film yeah. um, as a team. Got a PlayStation down there for when 
people are just in here chilling. Where was your locker then when you were in there? Mine was in the corner over there. Yeah. It was this one. Oh. I actually used to have two. Yeah. One of the new guys that took it over, but I think I'm guessing one of the new guys is going to move into this one now. That was a smart play with the corner. Yeah, you, can, yeah, you could get to. Yeah. And then we have our boot rack over there. Yeah, this Usually is nice. it's looking a bit more, a bit more busy and colourful, but yeah, little boot rack there, and then the wall just to the right of that is um, just some awards that have been won through the years and the times we won the conference championship. Yeah. As we've touched on, you've been here five years, or at least you were. They've got to be some times throughout that you, that you look back on with fond, fond memories. Yeah, no, definitely. I think one or a few memories from, from campus, as in like playing games here. Yeah. I think hosting NCAA games, you know, over the five years I was here, I was lucky enough to, to host three games here. And like the atmosphere from the fans is just like, you can tell it's an NCAA game, like people are on their feet you screaming. Get turn, big like, turn yeah, out. like the atmosphere, it's, it's uh, electric. But um, personal memory, I think Bradley away uh, in the conference, my sophomore year, it was overtime. It was a uh, double overtime, like wow. 30 seconds to go. So that's when they still did overtime. Yeah, was yeah, that? yeah. No, no, it was just uh, they still did overtime. I don't yeah. know why they took it away. Yeah. It was double overtime, 30 seconds left. It was nil nil. The ball fell to me in the box, I went past a few people, yeah. smacks it on my left foot, middle bins. I still get taken the piss out of because people say oh, I went middle bins because it went right down the middle. Yeah. But it went in and we won the game and like the feeling of scoring that goal in overtime and yeah. the game finishing, I think that is like the best feeling that yeah. like, college soccer has given me. A lot of fondness. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, no, a lot of good memories to look back on. Yeah. So now we're actually just walking alongside the field. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's get in. Yeah, now let's do it. This is obviously soccer specific stadium, yep. men's, women's. Yeah. A lot of big occasions happen here. Mm -hmm. Which one's a home dugout? They're obviously the home dugouts, home dugouts this one. No, you yeah. home dugouts this one, yeah. yeah. No, away dugouts always this one. It's got the little technical areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's worse for getting out of it? Like, surely somebody's getting out, getting rowdy. What, as in our bench? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's always a couple of players yeah. sc screaming at the ref <laughs> or whatever, or giving it the liner, but yeah. Now, this is where we train and play and do do most of our work. Yeah. Fitness as well. We were speaking. Yeah, the track. You see the track around the field. Around the edge. That is where the infamous one mile fitness test is. One mile test. Yeah, and the boys have actually got that tomorrow. Yeah. So there's a few nerves about that, but. Do you have a, a PB in the test? What did you get? My PB. It's not very good, you know. I was never a good a good runner. Yeah. I think five twelve. It's not bad. Though, PB, is it? Yeah, I know. To be honest. I, freshman year though, I always set myself, I was like, by senior year I'm gonna run sub five. <laughs> yeah. Never never quite that worked was, out that, that was way. The same as me, my dad yeah. still pesters me. He goes, <laughs> Yeah, you should have you're still not breaking a five minute mile. Yeah, I know. But uh yeah. One day dad, one day I'll get there. Yeah. Your bear career is at its close. Yeah. So looking forward, obviously you had a pretty stellar career here. What's next for you? Uh next for me, um, a few professional opportunities coming up. Um, if nothing works out with that, then I've still got my masters yeah. to, to complete by the summer. So I'll go down that route, finish school, and then long term plan is to stay in America. I yeah. don't really have plans to return back home. Yeah. You know, got a girlfriend out here now and can see my my future in, future in, in the, the States. States, yeah. So said it with a smile, it's hard to yeah, say. Yeah, I know. Place. So <laughs> whether it's football or not, yeah, you know. I see my future here. I'd have never thought, you know, 18 year old me would want to stay out here yeah. post college. I thought, yeah. I'll do my four years and go back, but. I think that's, that, that's what a lot of lads yeah. through, who have been through our route sort of think. They, they can't see it, but once you get out here, you, yeah. make, you make your connections. And more and more lads are coming out every year. And, exactly, yeah. You know, it's becoming more of a, of a normal yeah. route for A bit boys. more of a community around it as well. There are yeah. other lads in the same situation, so it's. It's easier to settle in. Yeah. But yeah. No, it's brilliant. Let's go check out another little part of campus. You want to pan around there? A little Easter egg. Basketball arena. See if we can sneak in. We're going downstairs. Secret underground passage. Yeah, secret underground passage. We're going deep underneath Missouri State Territory right now. <laughs> Is this Boomer? Boomer the Bear? <laughs> I think that's a real bear, actually. Yeah, no, it actually was a real bear. <laughs> it's crazy. So that's actually. Like... And here we are. Mate made it into the basketball arena. 
don't know how many it holds, but it holds holds a fair amount of people. I remember being in the uh, student sections yeah, here, right? This is the student section here. I remember one time I actually got oh, really? down. I was on the big screen. They no do way. Like a, they're doing like a quiz thing. <laughs> and that's the new Jumbotron they've put in. This, this is an absolute beast of yeah. a Jumbotron. Wow. Nah, this is a proper, proper sick arena. Yeah. Is that name again? Jackie Styles. Jackie Styles, yeah. What is going on there? These be little robots delivering food. They deliver to you? Yeah. What, just on campus? Yeah, on campus, yeah. yeah. I've, I've never used them before, but they like go to your door. <laughs> it's the future, it's scary, man. I don't like it. <laughs> well, it's not going great over there. <laughs> They've crashed. <laughs> All right. G baby, Missouri State, check it off. That is it for Division One, Missouri State Day in the Life as a recruit. Kian, it's been a pleasure, mate. Been a pleasure. Good Quality to see you as well. Good to see you too. Make sure you check him out. What are your, what are your socials? Socials, ky.training on Instagram and kianyari7 on TikTok. Doing a lot of content on there. For any aspiring football players, this man, we've already seen, he was a baller. So <laughs> check out the videos. Appreciate and, it. And uh, like always, remember, do it for the love of the game. Peace.